As nominations for the local government elections continues in the West Coast region, 15 independent aspiring candidates have had their nomination papers accepted by the returning officer. Speaking to the respective candidates at the IEC regional office in Brikama, Anthony Robert Secker reminded aspirants of the processes involved before being declared to join the April contest. All the candidates in the same ward will be called in and you'll all sit together and you look at the itinerary one by one to make sure that there is no clash in the itinerary. Now you need to come or get somebody to come on your behalf who can take decisions on your behalf. Because whatever we agree will be, will be final. You will not be able to change it in the field. If you want to change, you must let us know 24 hours. You must write and request for a change in your itinerary within 24 hours. Okay? Now, apart from that, um, your campaign itinerary, you also bring it before, on or before uh, um, that date. Okay? Then um, all other documents legally required, you've submitted. And uh, we are pleased to inform you that um, we've received your documents and you fulfilled all the legal requirements. The regional electoral officer, Faraba Jane, urged candidates to conduct themselves with utmost diligence as provided for by election laws. These are a set of rules and regulations regarding the campaign. As IEC, we are always advocating for peaceful campaign and peaceful elections. This is why they come up with this program so that you can go through accept them in good faith and uh, advise your supporters to please accept these conditions. They are very important because you want the whole process free without violence. All nominated candidates highlighted their priorities for their respective wards while expressing hope of winning the forthcoming local government elections. Nominations continues tomorrow at the IEC office in Brikama. Reporting from Brikama, West Coast region, I am Yusuf Bojan.